We're here in Antarctica for the first ever SharePoint conference, in fact the first ever IT conference on this continent, and uh, I'm talking to my penguin friends, because that's pretty much all that showed up to the event. In any case, um, we're here to talk to them about SharePoint, share the point. Here's a particularly talkative fellow, so let's discuss with him SharePoint infrastructure. My name is Michael Knoll, and I'm a SharePoint Infrastructure Specialist, the author of SharePoint 2010 Unleashed. Um, I've been speaking at many conferences over the years. This would be the first conference on the continent of Antarctica. So uh, we're here to share information with locals, which include these penguins, and also, of course, the researchers and the civilians here on uh, King George Island in Antarctica. So, uh, penguins? Yes. SharePoint itself is a multi-tiered application. It has a web tier, it has a data tier, and it has a services uh, application tier. And each one of those tiers requires different infrastructure design. So, you don't want to necessarily design just for your web tier, for example, because you could end up with performance issues. So, the important thing to remember is to ensure that you are designing for all three tiers of SharePoint. Uh, that means uh, making sure that your database services uh, have the proper disk I.O. Uh, Microsoft recommends around two IOPS per gigabyte, for example. I'm not sure if these penguins knew that. But in any case, uh, uh, as well at the web tier, uh, it's always ideal to separate that from the other tiers so that uh, you don't get any conflict between them. Last thing I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about was uh, virtualization. So virtualization is actually a very uh, useful topic. You can actually have much more flexibility in your architecture. So within SharePoint, uh, you can actually virtualize many of the SharePoint roles. The one that you would exercise most caution with is the SharePoint database role so running SQL Server, uh, simply because of the higher I.O. memory and processor requirements uh, within that. So in any case, uh, I do uh, encourage you guys to consider uh, using SharePoint. Uh, it could potentially help you perhaps uh, escape more leopard seals or just simply find more fish. Uh, in any case, in all seriousness, this is Sharing the Point. My name is Michael Noll, and we're here in Antarctica at the first ever SharePoint conference, and we're glad that you could come along. Thank you.